Warning. The show you're about to see contains material unsuitable for children and questionable among most adults. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello. My name is Ephraim Stevenson, a.k.a. Tyler, because Fight Club. Some of you may know me as the shy kid in school. Some of you may know me as the nephew that you just don't understand. If you see me and I'm not angry, it's because I hide it deep in my soul. I need an outlet, and my outlet is... Assassin's Bluff. I'm going to be filming Assassin's Bluff on my customized Epic M5K Mysterium X. Assassin's Bluff is an action suspense thriller with horror elements. It's about a gunman with no name who is sent to assassinate a corrupt politician in Boston and an ex-cop that is trying to stop him, but then helps him. The gunman is from hell, also. Think Dante's Inferno meets Boondock Saints with beasts. The beasts. character has nine rings on his fingers, which represent the nine circles of hell. Ironically, I, too, also only have nine fingers. I bring a gun to work every day just to exercise self-control. The pièce de résistance is a one-shot final action sequence in which Tyler goes into the local high school with his gun axe. The police outside think it's a school shooting, but little do they know, the school is filled with zombies. If you think I'm going into this unprepared, I've got 17 gigs of new horror and anime saved on my hard drive. I'm currently fundraising in Kickstarter, which you can donate to here if you're awesome. You'll also get some perks. For $5, you get a custom, hand-drawn sticker by me, Tyler, of the character Abizu, who is a sexy beast with wings. The filmmakers Eli Roth, Wes Craven, Quentin Tarantino, Rob Zombie, Troy Duffy, and Park Chan-wook are my heroes, and soon I will join that pantheon of legends when I present Assassin's Bluff. <laughs> Ephraim! What are you doing up so late? <laughs> I gotta get to sleep. It's Tyler and nothing. Well, you gotta get to bed. You're 19, your brain's growing. Can you leave me alone, please? Hey! What do we have here? here. It's nothing. Who is this lovely lady? Ooh, sexy. Personal. Hey, you listen to me, buddy. I was in the other room watching Baywatch, and I was eavesdropping. And I heard the words, school shooting. My book, those are two words. Alarm phrase. We know that in our household. It's our password for our Wi-Fi. What, what do you got going on here? A little, uh, webcam action here? Hi. Hi, I'm Tyler's dad. <laughs> I don't think his dad was awake, did you? <laughs> this is a video for my Kickstarter. Are there some ladies out there or guys? I don't know. No, it's just a video. <laughs> well, you gotta remember, these are real women out there. They're not some of your number two pencil Pegasus drawings. Hey, don't hit me. Okay, I'm gonna go watch some Baywatch. I am Tyler. That video was recorded several years ago. And now, it is come to fruition. I, today, it's presenting Assassin's Bluff. <laughs> One, what, what once was a dream will soon become reality. Eight years later, the Kickstarter is nearing enough money that we could actually think about making this. So tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to deep dive. We've got some special guests. We've got my cast and crew here. And we're going to help workshop this movie to make sure it's the best experience for you. Now, if you haven't heard in the video, I like things a little sick, a little twisted, a little crazy. So tonight, the call-in topic is, what's the sickest shit you've ever wanted to see in a movie? We're talking about action sequences, intense gore, unsimulated sex, and if we like it, <laughs> we'll put it in the movie. That's right, you can change the movie as you see it. All you need to do is call in 212-757-1393. Now, because this is the special, I'm gonna throw it over to Mr. Jokes with his joke of the week. Thank you, thank you everybody. Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> he 
funny guy. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, it's so nice to be here. Thank you. I wish you guys the best of luck on your Kickstarter. Isn't that one? Don't we all wish them the best of luck? Come on, put your hands together and wish you the best of luck. Woo! You know, uh, I recently tried doing uh, crowdsourcing money for my career. Uh, go fund me. My audiences were asking for a refund me, folks. Okay, you guys know what I'm talking about. Thank you. I mean, go fund me. They told me to go fund myself. Am I right? You guys, know what I, we got some punk rockers here today, right? You guys, maybe you're punk rockers. I no, wish my jokes no. would start making sense. Am I right? You guys, maybe once in a lifetime, folks. The, you suck. Swamp. Right? Am I, that's the only song I know. Okay. See you later, everybody. You I suck. Love, yeah. Okay. I know. All right. Jesus. If anything. I'm um, melodic grindcore is probably what I'd, if I had to put a genre. Welcome to the special without Brett Davis. I'm guest host Tyler, and today we're going to be talking about Assassin's Bluff, my great film. I've got my crew here. Uh, I'll just go down the line. First, we got Travis Bourne. What's up? Travis Bourne helped me uh, write this uh, this screenplay, which we have here. Oh, We're yeah. actually, you're gonna get a sneak preview of it. It's from our sick, twisted fucking minds, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> what? Now you you were you were an expert on some of the more scientific aspects. Yeah, drugs. He yeah, likes... all kinds of fucked up drugs. We could, but every drug we talk about in the screenplay is real. Um, me and my son Maynard, who's not here, he's got a shift overnight at ShopRite, couldn't be here this week. Uh, but I for lost, sorry, I lost my train of thought. I got adult age, ADHD, so. That's, that's okay. Yeah. What? I want to throw it over to our DP, the, the, the guy that sees the vision. <laughs> uh, this is Serge. Hi, uh, I'm Serge. Uh, I'll be responsible for the look and feel of the finished product of the film. Um, I'll be shooting both digital and analog to get a, a unique look. Wait, hold on, hold on. This guy's the DP? Yeah. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are thinking what I'm thinking, right? Get your mind out of the gutter, uh, director of photography. Yeah, I There's didn't no even know what you're talking about. It's a about. movie. It's not taking pictures. These are moving pictures? Are you familiar? Maybe you shouldn't be on my set. My set. Who's this fucking clown? Why don't, why don't you talk about what cameras you have? This is a uh, VHS movie camera. Um, it's by uh, Trinitrate. And I've got a uh, fancy here um, Canon uh, digital SLR. It can shoot up to 60 frames per second. And also, might I add, records to a um, SD card Sick. for a quick offload. Sick. Uh, you know, I, I was really inspired by a lot of these sort of schlock horror VHSs that I collected as a young teenager. And I wanted to have a bit of that feel, but I didn't want to lose fidelity. So every scene is shot twice once with the camera, and then once again with the VHS recorder, and we'll meld the two. In post. Well, I think it'll be a really interesting look. I think it will be. Uh, next, we've got Atticus. Atticus, uh, why don't you tell us what you contributed to the story? So I was. There's a lot of like really cool like devil shit in this movie. So like I was a demonology consultant. That's sort of how I build myself. <laughs> you know, I I own like a. I've read uh, Dante's Inferno. Maybe you've heard of it. Uh, check it out if you haven't. And. Uh, you know, I own, a, I own a lot of like demon encyclopedias, so that was like a big part of, you know. I wanted to make a movie that was part Boondock Saints, part Dante's Inferno, and I think you really brought the latter to it. Yeah, yeah. Like hell has never, has, will have never been this good in yeah. a movie. I, I don't think so. I don't think you've ever seen a more realistic depiction of hell in cinema. Next, I'll throw it over to my man Trent. Trent's hey, a jack of all trades. Actor. Hi, I'm Trent. I'm currently studying in the acting conservati conservatory at Juilliard. Yeah, he's legit. Yeah. And that's all I want to. That's all I want to say. So, are you guys excited to really dig into this? None of these guys have actually read the screenplay yet, so I'm pretty oh. excited to show it off. 
Yeah, I helped write it, but you wouldn't let me read the final project. The yeah. Product, so I'm like super fucking. What stoked, you're seeing man. here is history. I haven't made a dude. I haven't made a movie since the '90s. <laughs> you know, I created bum fights. This is true. Me and my homies down in Trenton. You know that? You know that about me? I, I did know. You bring yeah, it up dude, a it lot. Yeah, dude. It was like about dude. The '90s was fucking sick, man. You could just take two bums, right? Tie, tr not tie them up, but like put one in like green sweatpants, tie his mouth shut, put the other in like khakis. It was like Steve Irwin fighting alligator, man. It's fucking sick. You, you ever, you ever, you probably didn't know I was a filmmaker, did you? I uh, All right, would not have suspected. All right, DP. <laughs> to All be right. quite honest with you. So not only are we internally discussing the film, but the show, the special, had booked guests, and they are going to help us uh, dissect and hopefully improve uh, the film for general audiences. Yeah. So I'm going to introduce our guests right now. First off, uh, she is a comedian. Uh, she hosts uh, Rent Party every third Wednesday of the month at Union Hall. <laughs> and the podcast called Defend Your Movie. Please give it up for Farrah Brooks. I shake your hand, but I only have four fingers and people freak out. It's every third Wednesday <laughs> of the month, okay? What did I say? You said Thursday. Third Wednesday makes Thursday, sorry. I just want to give the people the information they need, okay? Every third Wednesday of the month at Union Hall. <laughs> and then defend your movie. It's funny, that's what we're doing today. Yeah, I'm really excited to see. Do I have to talk into this mic like this? This is what I have to do? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, that's our, our sound guy. Where? Trent also doubles as the sound guy. Hey, what's up? He holds a boom when he's not in the scenes. I'm currently studying sound at Juilliard. Are you, <laughs> are you in your 40s? No, he's in his 40s. Oh, yeah. Whatever, man. So what? I'm 22. No way. No one up here is in their 20s. Come on. <laughs> you guys are so old. I'm in my yeah. 20s. Why yeah. does it smell bad? Sorry. <laughs> I think I think it's a combination of everybody. Am I your first guest to ever bring ginger ale on set? <laughs> I don't know. I had a code red, but I, I, I killed it before the episode started. Why you pour some Jaeger in that ginger ale? Get the party started. No. Stop. <laughs> Our next guest is a comedian who hosts the Sup Show. Uh, you can see it May 10th at 9 p.m. A caveat, please welcome Faria Khan. Welcome to the show. Hey, thanks. Thanks for being here. Are you a fan of uh, intense action um, no. with horror elements? I'll, I'll tell you, uh, not really, so not super familiar. Right, I should use the one that I brought up. Um, <laughs> you also have weed, or? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Um, you want some? I don't. Yeah, maybe. Dude. All right. Yeah. What are you, Cambridge Encyclopedia? Illegal. I'm not going to sell my information to the public. No, it's medical. I got I got my medical card. It's is, cool. Is this okay, Tyler, or? I don't know. I'm not in charge of I'm the scared. drug it's stuff. Cynthia's New York now. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, I may want to partake in that, too. <laughs> wow, okay. It's a party now. <laughs> I guess the boys will be boys, huh? Exactly. This is terrible. Um, <laughs> I would agree. I don't, I'm not super familiar with this genre. I wouldn't say I'm a fan. Um, so you'll miss a lot of the allusions I make to other films. Probably, uh, yeah. There's a whole just sort of Night of the Living Dead uh, motif that the film takes on in its third act. Okay. There's some... Uh, I could dig that. There's mm -hmm. some... Uh, there, there's a character that has an axe, which uh, if you're a, a true film buff, you'll know there's a very famous character that wields an axe. Okay, yeah. I love, I love axes. That's cool. Axes? I'll bring out our axes. third guest. 
Uh, she helped uh, create uh, KPIS FM, uh, which broadcasts over 70 live shows every week. Uh, please welcome Sherry Barclay. <laughs> Three of us don't get on that couch. Uh, I feel like my Colin. assistant, <laughs> Sally, my assistant for the night. What is that? Um, well, we're actually uh, we're so excited to be here that we decided to give away um, the, the, this Rasta banana here. Um, so just slide into my DMs <laughs> at Capus <laughs> FM, and you can you can win. Um, my little friend here. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty sick. Yeah. yeah. And if you're, if we like you, we'll, uh, you know, we'll include some sticky icky too. Sick. Yeah, that's how we do it at KPIS. You know, it's free form. You know, free. Yeah, why don't you explain for those that don't know what KPIS is, what it is, and what free form is? Okay. Well, it has nothing to do with piss unless you oh. want it to. It's just that Damn. we're streaming. So we're the golden stream. <laughs> and when I rented the studio in, uh, it's called, I mean, it, it's called Punk Alley, but you know, it doesn't really have an official community or anything. But, but when I rented it, it, it smelled like piss. <laughs> and um, the, these and guys some, know what you're talking and about. And someone was <laughs> like, someone was like, oh, you want to put a, an internet radio station here? What are you going to call it? WPISS? But I thought Capus had a nice ring to it, so yeah. here we are, three years later, folks. Thank you. Wow. Yes. Yeah. The really studio. Cool. It's not it's, the lot radio. It's it's, it's literally a nine by seven Showed foot. Showed up by ginger ale. <laughs> that banana. Sorry. That banana is. What? I mean, oh. Yeah. I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> it operates out of a nine by seven foot uh, container. Yep. Like a pod. Uh huh. What's that like? Um, I mean, we have a lot of, uh, we have like some temperature issues, but uh, we just, you know, drilled out a hole. We, I, I drilled out a hole for the air conditioner. Um, I mean, there's a, you know, there's a, there's a clip actually. I don't know if we can play it, but, but I give the DJs tutorials, and one of the video tutorials just explains to them to uh, leave the space heater on at night, actually. So don't listen to any fire safety safety rules and just leave the space heater on. Otherwise, everything freezes because it's a tin box. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> so you know a lot about DIY then? Um, kind of, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, I do. I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm kind of nervous. Bre I mean, sorry. Tyler. I, I, Tyler. Sorry, I'm nervous. I brought my girlfriend tonight. So. What does that mean? <laughs> now, now I feel a little. I'm sorry. Let's continue the interview. DIY, <laughs> DIY. What, what does that mean? Sorry, baby. Sorry. Can you put it away? Why All right. It's. <laughs> anyway. It's, it's fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it later, baby. Faria. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> you were born in Karachi, raised in, in Virginia. How'd you know that? Research. <laughs> okay. My What's man uh, Atticus uh, helped me out with some of the research because he also does research about Satan and hell. Yeah. Oh, word. It turns out the same search engines that tell you about Satan also tell you like where people are from. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> so what is that experience like and how does New York differ? Um, wow, good question, Tyler. Um, you know, uh, I was born in Karachi, Pakistan. Um, it's part of the subcontinent uh, of India. Uh, it used to be part of India, then it broke off. I mean, I was born there, but then we moved. Uh, is this kind of what you're looking for? Yeah, <laughs> just okay. some background. <laughs> Yeah. To know where you're coming from. I just want to tell you kind of like the political situation uh, of that country. But um, then, you know, moved around, grew up in northern Virginia, right outside uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, Part of my movie takes place in Washington, D.C. Uh -oh. So you'll actually be able to give some insight to it. Oh, great. Yeah, I went there all the time. All these museums, you know, a lot of monuments. Um, it's her birthday at midnight. I am turning. Uh, thank you so much. 
happy birthday. Uh, thank you. I, I appreciate in. that. Thank well, you. we'll celebrate at midnight. Okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't. Hey. <laughs> I didn't ask for nothing. But, but <laughs> can we get can we get cake? Can we what? Can we get cake? I mean, that's we could that just seems kinda, like a lot. We could fairly just we don't need to do all that. Speaking know? of a lot, you do a lot, Farrah. <laughs> no, I don't. You you've got your live show, Ramp Party, every third Wednesday at you Union Hall. Yeah. And your podcast. Also Right for things, uh, you perform all over the place. How do you make it work? Um, I don't know what. I mean, I'm pretty busy. Yes. I also work at Shoprite, though not the night shift. And I'm also. You a were like you told me you were three hours early here today, though. Yeah. Okay. Because I got off work at five. Okay. Well, the key to making it work is to believe in yourself. So that's what I do. <laughs> Can you tell us about Psychic Hotline? Yep, season two coming soon. It's very exciting. What We're is gonna it? We're going to find out what the future has in store. It's a podcast? It's a podcast. You ever heard of one? Yes. <laughs> I listen to uh, a lot of filmmaking podcasts. I bet you have a podcast. I don't have a podcast. Are you sure? I listen to ScreenRant.com's <laughs> podcasts. Yeah. They talk about all sorts of uh, sick ones. Fangoria has a good podcast. If you like gore, <laughs> they're really good at describing it. I love blood. Sick. Yeah. You're going to really love my movie. Sherry. Can you talk to us about being banned from your college radio station? Yeah, I mean, also, uh, I mean, I just, first of all, I just want to say our podcasts are piss casts. <laughs> um, just yeah. had to throw that in there. But, uh, well, I mean, I should have been banned from the get-go because I never actually went to that school. Um, <laughs> but I just got into the station anyway. So I think that was part of the problem, like not really a great way to start off, like not actually being a student. Yeah. at a university radio station. I'm actually planning on editing Assassin's Bluff at the County College of Morris where I'm not a student, but that's my friend the, Maynard is. That's, that's the thing. my son. See, when I, when, when I was a student, I got kicked out of college, and then I asked the dean if I could keep going back to the school and pretend to go there so that I could use Photoshop and stuff to make my zine at the time. But I got kicked off of um, my, my uh, show on CJSR for making fun of the sponsors. What? Yeah, yeah. I gave away the the university movie theater had a, a Charles Bradley documentary on, and I gave away tickets to Charles Bradley, and I said that uh, whoever wins is going to go as my date to Charles Bradley, and I thought that was kind of funny, and they they didn't. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but 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 that but I when I I called them and asked them, can I can I give these two tickets away, and they said yes. And then when I actually got to the theater, it turns out the manager of the theater was on the board of directors of the university station, and that was that. Well, yeah. if you like Didn't rallying... Didn't want to be a sucker, you know? If I, you like rallying against the man of I Got Good News, there's a lot of it in Assassin's Blub. Oh, <laughs> fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Well, that's what Cape is all about, you know? It's just like, you know, it's like, I mean... It, it's like I, I, I couldn't get a show on WFMU. I auditioned for the morning show, and I didn't get it. So just start started my own station, you know? I don't like WFMU. They don't play any good music. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. we can't really play all the music right now, but this is like a sample of um, the DJ's piss. And I think if you, like, drank it, you could, like, really, like, get a sense of... All the shows. I mean, we have 80 shows. So I can't talk about all of Is them, but there's little, different yeah, piss? there's little uh, like purely circumstantials in there. Bad conditions, whips and furs. Ew. Um, Ew. Yeah. If we wanted to Tape check out crap on purely Sundays. circumstantial, where would we find that? I mean, it's all mixed in, but <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure if you sampled it, you could like taste the flavor. Dude, you know? dude, uh, no, uh, dude, uh, dude. Uh, dude! <laughs> Dude! It's piss. It's actually piss. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, dude. I mean, it's fine. It's, you know, I drink it all the time. It's like, oh, that's it's dedication. Healthy. Yeah, it's great. I have an icebreaker for everyone we on the couch. You can mix it with your ginger ale if you want. Raise your hand if you've ever worked for MTV. <laughs> <laughs> Did you I mean work year? is a loose term? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm mean, like, MTV yeah. zone. Fair. I mean, no. What? I'm, do you I'd want say that. I mean, friends? Is that I worked on it. Have you guys worked for MTV? No, no. fuck no. So it's kind of rare. I worked for yet. MTV podcasts. Oh, shit. And then they cut podcasts like right yeah, in the middle of my contract. So that was idea. interesting. What did you do, Farrah? Mm. What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> I made up that credit. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote uh, contributed content for uh, Girl Code and Guy Code. Guy Code. <laughs> <laughs> guy Wait, that's content? not even. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Girl I don't code. remember. It was like. Sick. That's pretty sick, dude. That is really sick. Yeah. yeah. And Decoded? Yeah, I wrote for MTV Decoded. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I pressed record uh, for Tavi Gevinson, Christopher Nolan, and uh, Phil Collins' daughter, Lily I Collins. love one of That's those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll let you guess who That's I super love. Yeah. You know, Tyler, can I just ask you something about like you and your friends or whatever? Yes. <laughs> Do y'all talk to any girls or? Hell yeah. Yeah, you I got my best right? friend Ashley. Okay, first We're off, talking Ashley, to you right now. You're yeah. definitely not even talking, so. <laughs> <laughs> What's this kid's deal? I honestly don't like his attitude. <laughs> okay, I think everyone's cool. gonna be mad at me. He's like. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just, That's you know, a lot of piss. I wanted to tell you something. That's real piss. <laughs> I wanted to tell you that your audition for Guy Code was really good, and you actually almost got on the show. Oh, and I'm here to tell shit. you it was a really good job you did in the room. Thank you. And wow. I'm sorry you didn't make the final cut, but you're very close to being cast on Guy Code. I have an experience with MTV too, as I was once a contestant on MTV's Next. Oh. Ooh. And I didn't find love. How'd that go? Like, what happened there? Why didn't you? I have a weird relationship with all women. <gasps> That's fucking <laughs> fucked up, That's dude. Why? <laughs> it's weird to say that. It's the truth, though. <laughs> but, I, like, why? It's a misunderstanding. Are you afraid what? of women? Hmm? Tyler, have you ever seen titties? <laughs> I'm sorry. I there are titties that. in this. <laughs> no, there's not. That's I've the seen saddest those. type of titties. Oh, yeah, there's there's, a, titties there's there a relationship sure. show on Fridays. <laughs> yeah. You can call in. in. Sad so it's scripts. four Dominican guys giving love advice if you ever want. Saying. Okay. Do you like believe in women's rights or nah? It depends on which rights you're talking about. Are you like mad that we vote? No. Okay. All right. But I don't think that you should be able to kill all men. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I think that's fair. What the? I don't know. Dude, Tyler hates everyone equally. I think that's you'll understand cool. that I have a deep appreciation for womanhood once you read <laughs> Assassin's Bluff. After this musical so, performance, everyone. Their album, Sucky, is being re-released on cassette this summer with two new songs on Little Dick Man Records. Please give it up for Shark Muffin.
And we're back. I'm Tyler. And this is the special without Britt Davis. And now we are going to read and dissect and dive in to Assassin's Bluff. So does everyone have a script? <coughs> I've delineated roles. Some of them won't be the roles that you actually see in the movie because I am hoping to get uh, Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails to play uh, the main character. Oh yeah, dude. And there are other uh, more obvious uh, instances. So, are you? Is everyone ready? Hell yeah, are dude. you ready? Woo! Are we just sitting here and reading it, or what, man? You're the director. I'm not the director, actually. Who's the director? Maybe we'll just sit and read. <laughs> Sure. Who wants to watch us read? There's a lot. There's a big banana in there that we weren't planning on. Uh, so we'll just sit and read if that's cool. Works for me. Are we allowed to do? And action? I still see the laundry detergent, and it's very distracting. <laughs> that's fucking funny, man. <laughs> okay. So I will be reading stage directions. So just whatever I say is not dialogue. Imagine it in your brain. Interior, church confessional, Boston. The man with no name is sitting in a confessional booth with the priest with a screen between them. The camera's placed to show the man with no name, a really cool Trent Reznor looking guy <laughs> with a black trench coat and muscles behind the screen like it's a cage. This implies that he is in a cage. <laughs> Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. How long has it been since your last confession? It's been too long. Confess to me your sins and you will be given penance. Murder, father. The priest wasn't expecting to hear murder. <gasps> when did you murder someone? That's the thing, Padre. I haven't murdered yet. <laughs> but I will. Murder is one of the worst sins of all. There is still time for you to change your mind, son. No! I added I'm on a mission on behalf of the devil, Lucifer. <laughs> what? That's... I know the guy. He sent me on some errands for him on behalf of a young guy named Billy Peterson. The priest knows that name. Mm. You know that name? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, that kid you molested, you fucking sicko. Who the fuck are you? I'm nobody, and you're no body. What the fuck does that mean? The you man son with of no a name shoots the priest with his gun axe. He reloads and continues the gunfire until the body's destroyed, and the priest is just ahead. He opens the door to the confessional booth, and bullet casings roll out, while blood seeps out of the other booth, laden with bullet holes. My curse by Kill Switch Engage plays. <laughs> Amen. Bitch. <laughs> uh, so, just uh, any thoughts right off the top? It's not good. What? Um, <laughs> Yo, man, I think this like kills this. Excuse me, I'm speaking. Oh. This uh, kill switch song. I think you can go for something a little more like a little harder. This is the best kill switch song. Nah, dude. Okay. And uh, what do you think of the gun axe? Uh, honestly, that was the tightest part, but everything else, um, <laughs> I think it kind of, the jumping around, all of a sudden the priest is like, you have this weird thing and it kind of jumps to the next thing. Do you know what I mean? No. <laughs> I don't know what you That's mean. That's called a scene change. <laughs> yeah, I think you gotta give it a chance. Yeah, yeah. I'm interested. I'm here for I it. Like Kill that. Switch Engage yeah. is playing. Title, a film by Tyler Stevenson. Title, Assassin's Bluff. Exterior. What? Everyone get up. Okay. <laughs> Exterior, government it's building, Boston. Open on a statue of Paul Revere, a historical figure from Boston, outside of the government building in Boston. People protest while a limo pulls up to reveal Senator Richard Billings, your typical scumbag old white male politician. 
Senator Billings pushes past the protesters who hold signs with pictures of him. His sexy aide, Maria Black, enters frame to shake his hand. <laughs> she has dyed jet black hair and a tattoo sleeve on her arm. One might mistake her from Lindsay of mindless self-indulgence. <laughs> You're Maria Black. You got this. Senator Billings, how was the flight from Washington, D.C.? Wonderful, but I can't enjoy myself with all the noise. Do you do something about it? Maria Black understands and opens up her briefcase to reveal stacks of money. Attention, protesters. Thank you for exercising your First Amendment right. Now I will ask you to disperse, and you will be given a protest bonus for your compliance. The protesters solemnly take their money and disperse as Maria Black proudly stares. One protester refuses. Interior interrogation room. A goon punches the protester who's tied to a chair. Senator Billings stares at him and turns to Maria Black. What's he guilty of? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. We're, we're just making an example of him. The system works. Your heart is just like your last name. Maria Black. <laughs> I get the desired result, don't I? Good, then you won't mind killing him. <laughs> Royally fucked by mindless self-indulgence plays, Senator Billings hands Maria Black a gun. She hesitates. I, I, I don't... Let's just say I'm testing your loyalty, Miss Black. Miss Black walks into the interrogation room and holds the gun up to the protester's head. She doesn't want to shoot. The wall explodes, shattering the glass between them and Senator Billings. As the smoke dissipates, there stands the man with no name. He pulls out his gun axe and targets Senator Billings, but he's tackled by Maria Black. As she lands on top of him, she's distracted by her own horniness, and he gets away. <laughs> Senator Billings is ushered away by his bodyguards. The man with no name runs after him, and a car chase ensues, set to the score of the death of me by asking Alexandria. Chasing after Senator Billings in a black town car, the man with no name drives his motorcycle one-handed with his gun axe in the other hand. As the man with no name gains on him, he runs out of ammo. Now I wish Justin Bieber didn't just come to town, wasted all my bullets on fucking target practice. <laughs> <laughs> the man with no name smirks to himself, then switches a lever on the gun axe, revealing an axe blade, and stands upon the seat. He leaps from his motorcycle onto the senator's car and lands feet first on the fallen bumper, surfing on it while his gun axe acts as an anchor. Oh, come on. Oh. Dude, at least a bottle of piss on the stage. I don't know how they do it in radio, but... <laughs> what? Oh, is it my line? Yeah. Hang ten, bitch. <laughs> the man with no... He headbutts them back of the window of the car, and Senator Billings shoots him square in the head. The man with no name falls as 30 cars pile up behind him in a fiery explosion. Special effects make the man with no name turn translucent as he dissolves through the ground through several layers of earth. Shit hurts like hell. Ow! Interior. <laughs> Interior. Hell. The flames of the explosion blend into the flames of hell where Lucifer, played by Claudio Sanchez of Coheed and Cambria, stands over the man with no name's body. Demons surround him as Lucifer looms over. Lucifer. Is that me? It's you. It is? Yeah. Okay. It's such a long script. <laughs> yeah, settle in. It's a feature-length film. Yeah. So we're going to do the whole thing, right? If we have time. If not, we'll come back next week and finish. <laughs> wanted to make sure. What happened? Senator Billings is responsible for war crimes. He needs to pay. You have one more chance or you're fucking mine forever. And then what, Lucifer? Do I remain your fucking errand boy? Nay. You shall rest in peace. Sounds like a deal to me, bub. Any requests? How about an Event Sevenfold concert? <laughs> you got it. 
Sick. Lucifer points at the man with no name and shoots fire from his finger, which pushes him through the roof of the Hell Cave, through the earth, right above into a rock club, where Avenged Sevenfold is performing on stage and it's really good. The man with no name shoots through the floor of the club and has a badass landing on the stage, right in front of the band, performing writing on the walls. Saki Vengeance gives the man with no name a nod of respect as he sings. The man with no name joins the mosh pit and totally dominates. <laughs> yeah! Oh, would you mind reading uh, M. Shadow's uh, lyrics? And just sing it like the song, you're a music buff. Okay. Dragged you down below, down to the That's down not how show. Going. <laughs> yes. okay. Dragged you down below, down to the devil's show! To be his guest forever! Peace of mind is less than ever! <laughs> sure. Interior. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How is everybody liking it so Sorry. far? Um, I just sort of wanted to make one comment. Uh, this kid, I did rag on him earlier. After seeing his acting, really changed my mind. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Juilliard. He yeah. connects. It, honestly, that was wild, wasn't it? So, okay. And you still like the gun I think acts. you guys can kind of step up a little bit. I think the energy should be a little bit higher. <laughs> Fair. Uh, by the way, the gun axe, uh, it's from a story I heard that uh, a, a guy I kind of know uh, tried to bring a gun axe into the download festival and got kicked out. Interior police station. <laughs> Music abruptly stops. Detective Connor, Mc Detective Connor McMurphy is looking at his crime board. He drinks some liquor, maybe whiskey. He's thinking, but somehow we hear his thoughts. I don't get it. First, this fucking madman attacks the church kills a priest, then he attacks a government building. What's your game, trench coats? And who the hell are you? The it's, police chief. It says I'm Irish, was that Irish? Yeah, no, you did it perfectly. Okay, I've only ever seen Irish people online, so. Yeah, you did it cool. perfectly. The police chief enters. Uh, oi! <laughs> Detective McMurphy, any leads on the gunman? Nada! Well, we fucking need to put a stick on behind bars for good! <laughs> Aye, but Chief, what if he's not the one we want behind bars? Maybe there's a reason for all this bloodshed. After all, the Catholic Church isn't filled with saints, and the political system is totally fucked. I just want to pause for a second and linger on that line, the Catholic Church isn't filled with saints. <laughs> Continue. It's really good. These pillars of society that these pillars of society relies on are flawed. Are you fucking suggesting that he's some sort of hero vigilante? We have badges. We're the heroes. If this madman is trying to take down the system, why don't you take his next target is? Don't forget, McMurphy, blue lives matter. More! <laughs> Detective McMurphy questions himself as police chief exits. Exterior, Mojave Desert. A fleet of black cars drive through the sandy roads of New Mexico as Shepherd of Fire by Avenged Sevenfold plays. Senator Billings and Maria Black exit a black car and are escorted into a top secret building. Pan over to the side, revealing Area 52. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. Interior, Area 52, Senator Billings looks around. Even he's surprised, and he's seen his fair share of evil shit. Surrounded by white men in suits, he looks around to get a lay of the land. Senator Billings turns to a soldier. S soldier, tell me who's in charge of this place. Soldier points him in a direction. Senator Billings and Maria Black both turn. They see a bunch of other white men in suits. Senator Billings walks over to shake hands. No, Senator Billings, him. Camera pans Shake to reveal hand. Dr. Shambo, the witch doctor. He has a tribal skull makeup and a necklace full of skulls over a suit. Even Shambo is sold out to the man. <laughs> he speaks with a different accent. Uh, <clears throat> uh, pleased to meet... <clears throat> Pleased to meet your acquaintance, Senator. Could you do a more uh, of a Dr. Shambo-esque Ple accent? Pleased to meet your acquaintance, Senator. I am Dr. Dombala Shambo. <laughs> Wait. Wait. 
You run this government building, this is where you keep the alien technology. <coughs> you <laughs> must... You must be thinking of Area 51, Senator. <laughs> Area 52 has a different focus. I am in charge here. <laughs> Due to my expert knowledge in shamanism, soul dualism, and astrals. English, doctor? <laughs> I am a shaman, Senator. I've heard enough of, from this fucking witch doctor. Scientist, actually. I have studied the science of these topics. Why do you think this building exists? <laughs> this is no fairy tale, Senator. Let's hear him out. Cut to interior laboratory. Dr. Shambo showing powders to Maria Black and Senator Billings. A living person can be turned into a zombie by these powders being entered into the bloodstream via a wound. This coupe de padre introduces a death-like state because of tetrodotoxin. That's, that's in pufferfish. My father lived in Japan. Right. Him and his associates would eat fugu. If it's oh. not prepared correctly, it can be poisoned. That's true, yo. I read that. Yeah. <laughs> I put that as my part in the script. Yeah. Like, did your son I did tell some, you that? I did some, my son? No, yeah, me and my son research drugs together. It's like a Breaking Bad situation. We're trying to like divide, like, we're most like, most, most like best friends. That's so, that's yeah. like really nice, right? Yeah. And I just want to point out, look how already Maria Black is such a well-rounded and intelligent character. Um, That's Steve. really true, man. You understand the female perspective. <laughs> yeah, Tyler, you really do. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this passes the Betchel test. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Awesome. As I was saying, and at near lethal doses, it can leave a person in a state of near death for several days while they continue to be conscious. The second powder is composed of dissociatives, like Datura. Yo, hold on. We need to change that. Datura, like, that's that's not believable, man. It should be dextromethorphan. That's what you told me. I don't no, know, no, but it should, should be dextromethorphan, because that's more, like, around, you know? Like, you can get a corsine, robitus, and diamond tap. You know, they put that Tylenol. You can get... Uh, Whatever, man. And then I make a fucking matter. note of it. It absolutely it does matter. I don't think it matters. No, it matters. Or that frog one. You're not a drug Because this, set, this okay. sets up the next line. What's the next line? Um, I knew that, too. My mother worked with the Navajo. They used it for vision quests. I put the person in a zombie-like state where they mm. seem to have no will of their own. Oh. Pairing the two together would create literal... Senator Billings. <laughs> Zombies. <laughs> <laughs> Flu shots. Oh, no, no, sorry. It's you. Not so... Not so crazy after all, is it, Senator? Once we got the go-ahead from your council, we will be guns considering our options for how to, for lack of a better word, weaponize it, take out threats before they happen. <laughs> Flu shots mm. enters the bloodstreams via a needle. Ooh. No people are getting, no people are getting too aware of our Ooh. flu shot scam. We need to target the most subversive groups and do it in places where this chaos reigns real. supreme. I have an idea. Okay. Cut to interior, Point Pleasant High School. Students are rushing in class. One angry teenager is listening to Waking the Demon by Bullet for My Valentine on his headphones. He's shoved into a locker by some members of the football team. A cheerleader laughs at him. Maria Black is talking to the principal. Oh. Sorry, I'm the principal. Uh, I got distracted. I was thinking uh, about zombies. <laughs> Take off those headphones and turn down that damn bullet for my Valentine music. Um, Angry teenager flips him the bird. By making this shot mandatory, you will ensure the health of your student body. I'm sure you don't want to get the dreaded Ebola virus now, do you? Why no? That would be horrible. I have a vacation to Flagstaff planned for summer break. I don't want one of those little shits ruining it. 
Don't worry, Principal. Maria Black flashes an evil smile. Just going to pause here. Now, this is something that's real. <laughs> And we're using it for a horror element, but it's actually a real thing that the government does to us with flu shots. Uh, Tyler, you're super smart, dude. You have, you know, like a lot about thanks facts and stuff. Thanks. Are you? Are you is everybody liking it so far? I don't yeah. get it. Sherry, your yeah. thoughts? Um, am I gonna get an IMDb credit for this? Because I, I just came here to yeah. talk about K piss, so I get, I'm getting a little confused. I'm yeah, sure. you're gonna get an IMDb. Okay. I'll I'll do it. I have I have one line coming up. I just wanna, yeah. I just want to make sure you know. Drink that piss. I'm down with IMDb. I just kind of. I just wanted to say that I'm a little confused. Um, no idea what's going on in this. Yeah, at all. all. It's impossible. It's, it's, I'm having so much Just wait for time Act 3. Following yeah. it. Do you so, need everything like handed to you on like a cookie cutter? No, I freaking <laughs> don't. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Do yeah. you know I, girls? Like, yeah, I know girls. How did you make a son? Like, <laughs> y'all don't dick? even know. <laughs> y'all don't is, even know how we're, to talk to wit men. Uh, how cool yeah. are you? Looking? Maybe I'm not talking. Maybe I'm not talking with women. That's my sister. Right. That, Thank you so much. Girls, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm done with that. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I think it's not an ABC plot. It's sort of like an A, B, uh, V, X, Y, W, Z. What it, the it, fuck? It jumps around. This thing's going to come yeah, out on the Gritty Collection. Go to the next, scene. To the next yeah. scene, man. This, okay. this is really good. Okay, cut to exterior, quick stop convenience store. <laughs> The old song, Chop Suey by System of a Down Place. The man with no name rides a motorcycle towards the quick stop. Yes, that quick stop. <laughs> he encounters Jay and Silent Bob, loitering as per usual. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, do you know Kevin Smith? Well, I, I know uh, Ming Chen from Comic Book Guys. Um, nice. Because I live kind of near Red Bank. Uh, this scene is for comic relief. Uh, I'll read the role of Jake, because I don't think anybody else would get it. Smoking weed, smoking weed, doing coke, drinking beers, drinking beers, beers, beers. Oh, shoot, who's the fucking badass? Hey, punk, you seen this woman? The man with no name hands Jay and Silent Bob a photo of Maria Black. Damn, I can't peg her, but she seems like a fine piece of ass. Wouldn't mind if she pegged me. Silent Bob looks inquisitively at Jay. What, motherfucker? Don't act like you've never been pegged. Don Juan de la Newt shit. Snoogans. <laughs> Silent Bob shrugs. Oh. No any arms dealers? Shit, my homie Bugs got the hook up there. Bugs? Yeah, like the bunny. Here's his fucking info. Jay scribbles down a number on an easy wider and hands it to him. Wait, are you sure you don't want any snoochie boochies? Greg, Jay holds up a dime bag, RIP. <laughs> Snooch to the nooch. Oh, fuck yeah. So we're going to skip the gun axe scene uh, where he gets the second gun axe and the first one was lost in the explosion. My line was in there. Uh, interior, Point Pleasant High School nurse's office. Angry yeah, teenager is listening to Under Oath Bloodlust. Oh. oh, right now? Okay. All right. <clears throat> like I said, this is a little confusing. But, uh, it's really not. I came here to talk about k piss so I, I didn't know I was doing a movie, but I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Okay. What, wait, who's the teenager? I'm playing the angry teenager. Oh, yeah. okay. So All right. This kid should definitely get more roles. Yeah. He's really good. Also, shout out Thank to you. Shark Muffin. They were, at the, they yeah. were on Street Wannabes. That yeah. was great. Sorry. That Sorry. was really right. cool. Yeah, back to the, Are we gonna back to the movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, time, to take, time to take your shot, kid. I don't want to. <laughs> the nurse angrily grabs his arm to try to force the needle in, but angry teenager escapes and runs oh past the entire God. student body That's waiting in line outside. Uh, the man with no name is loading his gun axe on a motel here. bed when he hears a knock at the door. He quickly loads it up and cocks it, peeking out the peephole to see Maria Black wearing a trench coat. He lets her in despite his better judgment. She's too fucking hot to resist. Yeah. <laughs> what do you fucking want? You know what I want? <laughs> Bam! Big tits! It's, that's what it says yeah, in the Maria Black drops the trench coat to reveal her big tits. I'm sorry, but my tits <laughs> is big, but... <laughs> I want you! 
But no. you work for Senator Billings, and he's my target. I know, and I will have to stop you. But I know once this all happens, we will never be able to fuck. <laughs> and regardless of what my job is, I need to fuck you. Well, <laughs> you've got me stuck between a rock and a hard on. <laughs> Allow me to fuck your brains out. Well, I gotta warn you, I'm not like most girls. <laughs> Maria Black and the man with no name, fuck. Hard, slow zoom on the bodies, unsimulated sex, raw and real, six minutes. Actress will be a porn star like Joanna Angel, so anything can go. I mean, come on, really? I remember really seeing her at Beauty it's, Bar back then. Well, day. I bet she would be comfortable. This is ridiculous. Tyler, you straight up just wrote a porno. Dude, yeah. it's You're parts wet. of it are Listen, porn. Right? Yeah. 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 Hollywood yeah. sex shows. Midway through, she reveals a pair of fleshy a wings and transforms into a demon. We didn't sign yeah. off on this. It wasn't a woman, it was a demon. Yeah. yeah. This is what a demon I, would do. First, they just said yeah. Yeah. You guys are fucking Tech. lame ass dumbos. Cut to, like, interior, motel, morning. Too, the man with no name wakes up to see an empty bed. The clock reads 2 p.m. What? I can't fucking believe it. She roofied her pussy. <laughs> the man with no name turns on the television to see the words Point Pleasant High School on lockdown with news footage above the school. Senator Billing is scenes on screen. The problem with kids today is the media they consume. Bands like Tool and violent video games. It turns them into violent zombies. Exterior, motel. The man with no name straps the gun axe to his back and rides the motorcycle towards the school. Interior, Point Pleasant High School. Angry teenagers running through the halls. Now it's like a horror movie. He barricades himself in a room to see his former classmates. Now, literally, zombies. Maria Black is leading the undead zombies from a caged area, <coughs> telling them to kill anyone that's not a zombie. The brain dead masses obey her commands. Senator Billing joins her to watch the mayhem. I just spoke with the Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVos. <laughs> the, the these these shots will be in every school tomorrow and the chaos will be widespread no longer will the youth rise up against the powerful elite they will senator billings picks up a hoodie with a shepherd fairy design on it obey <laughs> obey interior classroom angry teenager uses the classroom phone to call 911 interior 911 place what i don't understand you interior classroom nobody does System, okay? All right. Hurry it up. So there's Bugs Bunny, right? right? Dude, just hear me out. Just hear me out, okay? All right. I got a system here, okay? So you got Bugs Bunny. You got the Roadrunner, Tom and Jerry. Why are we talking about cartoons now? Because you're not like Bugs Bunny at all. You're not like Bugs Bunny at all, okay? You're the Roadrunner, all right? Because what's the Roadrunner always trying to do? Huh? Out with the criminals. Yeah, but what's the, what's the, what's he always doing? What's he famous for? What is he doing? What's he always trying to do? He always runs. The Roadrunner runs. All right, give me the damn cave. I'll see you in hell. Lord. They'll be playing FM Bar in Jersey City with Lost Boy at April 21st. Once again, Shark Muffin!
This song is about a bad Tinder date. <laughs> 